Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to After Effects Beginners Tutorial Series. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and the first thing that you will notice is there are a lot of different panels and windows and there are a lot of different small buttons which might be really confusing but don't worry you don't need to know all of them for now now the group of panels is called a workspace and you can create your own custom workspace after effects do come with some pre-built workspaces so if you want to access them you can just simply go to windows and under workspaces you can see there are different type of workspaces which are pre-built but when you start the after effects you will be presented with the default one so you can also access the workspaces from here you can see all the workspaces are present here and you can create your own custom workspaces so for example i have created this dual monitor for my dual monitor setup and i will show you how you can create your own custom workspaces now if you come over here you can see we have the project panel so this is the panel where you will be importing all of your footages like images videos audio files illustrations also you can see we have a different panel inside this area so it is the effects and control once we start applying effect on a layer all the effects that will be applied will come under this panel now most of the panels are empty and you cannot see anything in them the reason for that is we haven't created any composition and once we start creating a composition you will see what these panels do also if you want to import footages in the project panel you can just simply right click go to import and click on files and from here you can navigate to wherever you have your footages and if you want you can select a single file or you can select multiple files after that you can simply click on import and it will import all the footages inside of after effects now you can start using them if you come over here you can see we have this option called folders so you can click on that you can create a folder and you can rename it to whatever you want so let's call this images and you can select all the image files and you can just simply move them into this folder and now you can close it up also we have this audio file so you can again create another folder let's call this audio and I can drag my track into this I can create another folder let's call this video and I can drag my video file into this so now you can see we have multiple folders and in each of these folders we have our footages and it is a very powerful way of organizing your project once you start working you will see that on a really big project there are hundreds of footages and assets which you have to manage so these folders will come really handy you can nest these folder as well so let's say I create another folder and I'm going to call this main project and now what I can do is I can select all the other folders and I can just simply move it inside this main folder now you can see we have subfolders inside the main folder and we have the footages in each of them so in this way you can organize your project now you will also notice that if you hover over here you can see that the cursor changes and it turns into a double arrow which means that you can easily resize this panel so let's say you are working on a project and there is a lot of space that you want to use so you can just simply hover over here and once the cursor changes you can just simply drag the panel and you can change its width by dragging it something like this now you can also remove any panel if you want so let's say we do not need this effects and control panel so you can just click on this you can see we have this option called close panel so if i click on that now you can see our panel is deleted if you want to reinsert that panel you can simply do that by going to windows and from the list you can select whatever panel you want to enable so you can just simply click on that and once it is enabled you can see it will come back to the original position and from here you can start working on in the same way you can enable different panels which you will be using for different things so for now let's stick with this now let's see how you can organize these panels so let's say i want this effects and control panel to be somewhere else so i can just simply select it and if i drag it here you can see that it gives me option to where i can snap this so i can just simply 
come over here and if i leave my mouse button you can see now our panel has aligned over here and you can see it has created its own space you can align these panels however you want and once you are happy with that you can save it as a custom workspace by simply going to the workspace in which you are right now you can just simply right click and from here you can see we have this option called save as new workspace so if you click on that it will ask you to enter a name you can type whatever name you want once you click on ok it will appear in the workspace area so to access it you can go under the windows and from here you can go under workspaces and you can see it has created your own workspace so you can alternatively access it from here as well now if you come over here you can see this area is called the timeline so each composition will have its own timeline and in that timeline you will be able to see all the different layers that are present inside the composition so this is the place where you will be working the most and right now it is blank because we do not have any composition so let me just first create a new composition and i will show you how what i mean so now i have created a new composition and you can see that this panel has changed and over here you can see we have the workspace where we will be creating different layers so let me just quickly import some of the footages so that you can see what i mean so i'm going to just randomly import some of the footages just like this and now you can see we have multiple layers over here so this is the place where you will be creating all the animations and we will see how this works uh, in the coming chapters if you come over here you can see we have this panel so this is called the viewer this is basically the area where you will be able to see all the animations that you will be creating all the layers will be visible over here so if we come over here you can see we have this panel called effects and preset and under this panel you will find all the effects that are present in after effects so you can access them by simply clicking on this drop down and from here you can see we have different effects and you can just simply select it and drag it onto your footage also if you know the name of the effect you can just simply type its name and it will search the effect quickly and you can just simply start using it so if we come over here we can see we have this preview panel so these are the settings which will help us in previewing our animation so over here you can see we have different buttons so if once you have created your animation you can play it by simply clicking on this button and it will start playing your animation over here you do not have to worry about these settings we won't be playing with them much the default ones are good and over here we have the character panel so once you start working with text this will be very helpful so over here you can see we have all our fonts so once you start creating your text you can change your font from the here and you can change your text color and you can change whatever color you want you can pick different colors for your text you can also change its scale so you can make the font bigger or smaller there are different options which we will cover in the later topics when we start working with text animation so if you move over here we have this paragraph panel and it has all the options which you might have seen in microsoft word so stuff like aligning your text to the left side or if you want to center your text you can also do that so all those settings are over here and over here we have this align panel now by default this panel won't be enabled in your ui so if you want you can again go to windows and from here you can enable this align panel so this panel will help us to align any object into the center of this composition we will see how this work once we start creating our animation so there are a lot of different other panels in after effects but for most of the times you will be working only with these panels which i showed you and once we start creating our animation all this will be very clear to you so this is the end of part 2 and in part 3 you will learn about after effects compositions it is a very important topic so you don't want to miss that out you can click here to watch part 3 or you can click the link in the description below so that's it for this video my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh,